if you use GarageBand for Mac, but also have one of these or one of these. In this video, I'll show you how you can use your iPad or iPhone to play instruments, adjust controls, and use a fully featured mixer in GarageBand for Mac. Logic Remote is a completely free app that you can download from the iOS App Store that allows you to remotely control Logic Pro, MainStage, and GarageBand from your iPad or iPhone. It's really simple to set up too. Just download the app, make sure GarageBand is open on your Mac, and that both your iOS device and Mac are on the same Wi-Fi network. When you open the app on your iPhone or iPad, you'll be able to select your Mac from the list that pops up, confirm on your Mac, and you're good to go. The controls at the top of the Logic Remote screen correspond to the transport controls in GarageBand on your Mac. The upper line in the control bar display shows the playhead's position. The format, bars and beats, or hours, minutes and seconds, depends on what LCD setting you have set up in GarageBand. It's bars and beats, minutes and seconds here, as that's what I have set up in my GarageBand project. The lower line shows the selected track. You can use the control bar display to show or hide the ruler and playhead, you can use the arrows on either side of the display to move between the tracks. The settings button on the right here opens a menu where you can do things like undo or redo edits, create or duplicate a track, and switch between different applications controlled by Logic Remote. You can also open Logic Remote Help here. On the left hand side, this button opens the library where you can change instrument patches and presets for the currently selected track. and the view button will have different options available depending on what track you have selected. With a MIDI software instrument track selected, you're able to select from three different play surfaces to play the currently selected sound. You can also play your current MIDI tracks sounds with chord strips. With an audio track selected, you can access its smart controls here. And with a drummer track selected, you get the same options as a MIDI software instrument track, smart controls and keyboards, and chord strips. Hitting Mixer in the View menu opens up, well, the Mixer. Each of the tracks in your project is represented by a channel strip here, and you can adjust volume, panning, and solo or mute tracks from this view. This is a fantastic tool when you come to actually mix your projects, as all of your tracks are at your fingertips simultaneously. This works slightly differently on iPhone. You can't access a full screen mixer view on iPhone, instead if you turn your iPhone vertically, the channel strip and controls for the currently selected track appear. Also in the view menu you'll find all keyboard shortcuts available in the form of one touch buttons and hitting Smart Help opens up a version of Apple's interactive 
GarageBand user guide, which is a damn sight more useful than the context-specific tooltips that are available in GarageBand for Mac by default. Logic Remote is incredibly handy. You can record, adjust parameters, and effectively mix your entire project using an iPad or an iPhone. It's really, really powerful. Let me know your thoughts on Logic Remote and whether you use it to control your GarageBand for Mac projects down below. Give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And for more info on stuff that you probably didn't know you could do in GarageBand, watch this video next.